So I just want to let everyone know that um, we're going to experience one of the biggest wildlife and flora and fauna booms for the last 20 to 40 years after this huge front came through. Stumped about 200 millimetres of rain in my town, Dombuyong. The highest I've heard of is uh, 260 millimetres in Ravensthorpe. You can just hear right now. Frogs. Beautiful species of uh, parrot, lorikeets. So I've already seen different species of ducks. And like I say, fellas, we're going to re experience a massive wildlife boom, a huge regeneration of uh, old growth. Uh, all the lakes have been cleaned out. It's an absolute beautiful experience. So all of this water right now is like pure rainwater. So it's probably not going to last that long, guys. Probably six months to possibly a year and this will uh, a lot of this water will dry out it will stay full for a long time maybe even longer you know probably I'm expecting these waterways to be full up with water for at least a year until all the water starts drying out um, but like I say this lake here what I'm at is uh, was a barren a barren salt encrusted wasteland. I've just done some videos recently on uh, a lake opposite this lake where I did a beautiful walk and the whole uh, lake was a white salt encrusted uh, wasteland. But beautiful no matter what. It's still very beautiful fellas to walk along it. Took heaps of beautiful photos of uh, all different species of insects what had been what had died on the lake. Bees, wasps, bugs and everything else. But you know like I say guys, right, right now you can't see it, but... See, look at that fellas, I haven't heard that for years. It's absolutely amazing guys. It literally brings tears to my eyes, you know, hearing it. You know, this whole area, like you've seen a lot of my videos, I'm talking about salt and erosion and everything else. But, you know, this big storm has just washed away everything. And yes, it's going to create a huge amount of damage, a huge amount of silt in the riverways. So when all, all of this dries again, it's going to look absolutely horrible, guys. But still, just the, the wildlife. All right, now I'm looking at a beautiful dragonfly. And I can actually see in the water right now, beautiful water bugs. This place has got to be covered in thousands of tadpoles, multi tens of millions of tadpoles and frogs in the next month or so. Thousands upon thousands of birds. I'm even honestly expecting to see pelicans. Uh, expect to see definitely uh, seagulls. And, you know, none of this water will actually has fish in it, fellas. I am expecting to see tiny minnows. So maybe the pelicans will eat those. But I have seen pelicans on Lake Dombiong before. But definitely I am, I've actually seen uh, freshwater minnows in Lake Dombiong before when I was a kid. When it filled up. So Lake Dombiong is actually going to be fresh water right now. But it's not going to stay fresh. So this is going to be absolutely tens upon tens of thousands of... Uh, Birds, possibly millions. You know, this is just one tiny lake, fellas. Dombiunk is sur surrounded by hundreds of lakes, and this big massive storm has affected tens of thousands of square kilometres. Everything's been washed away. You know, everything's been washed clean. It's just the most beautiful experience I've ever experienced being a, a man, being a, an adult. As a kid, I couldn't really appreciate it. But now that I'm a wildlife flora and fauna fanatic, well, I do my best at it, learning every day I come out. It's going to be one of the most beautiful, magical experiences that I've ever experienced in regards to wildlife flora and fauna. Right now I can see a beautiful little wren just sitting in the flying right next to me. Oh, honestly, fellas, I cannot s say this enough. We're going to have a so any a huge tourism boom for my town, Dumbuyong. You know, I, you know, already 
I've seen people directly across the road uh, water skiing and wakeboarding, uh, yes, Canoeing Nine paddling. River Bridge is uh, the Cobbler Nine River is absolutely chock a block full of water. Uh, honestly, I think there's really 20 or 30 feet flowing uh, deep underneath yeah. the bridge. Well, even right now, fellas, I just saw a frog in here. Frogs, trilling frogs, western banjo frogs, bullfrogs, western uh, toadlets, western spotted frogs. Every species of frog is going to be around this area, guys. At night, it's going to be an absolute paradise. So if you come down, guys, it's going to be a massive mosquito boom as well, and midgey boom. So that's going to be the worst thing about it. So I expect to, uh, yeah, I'd, I'd be coming down here ASAP within the next week or so. If you, if you're any photographers out there, kayakers, paddlers, everything else, photographers, artists, you name it, guys. But please, I cannot stress this enough. Right, right now, oh, beautiful ducks. I cannot stress this enough, guys. If you do come down, please treat this environment with the utmost respect. Do not leave your rubbish around. If you see any rubbish, pick it up. So please, no fires. You cannot have campfires here at this time of the year. Around the 1st of April onwards, you can have campfires. But like I say, guys, this is a once in a lifetime experience. If you've got kids, you want to get kids into photography, anything artists, please come down. So, it's just the worst thing is if only these rivers and that were full of fish, I suppose a long time ago, pre 1900s, they would have been. Anyway, guys, it's my little rant, and I'm going to set up a couple of trial cameras right now, and I've got a I've got a Nikon Cool Pix P900 camera that I'm taking nice photos of hopefully when it's nice photos of wildlife a anything, insects, ducks, tadpoles, frogs, water bugs, spiders, scorpions, snakes every species of animal is going to, going to be around and have a massive breeding cycle guys I cannot state that enough so so anyway fellas I've just been really looking forward to making this video and just, you know, when I talk it all just comes out of my mind as I'm thinking. So I'm not a, that good a speaker, but I try my best. So anyway guys, I, it's absolutely beautiful and down beyond West Australia, if you want to come down. And not just down beyond, there's many other towns, but down beyond's 250 kilometres southeast of Perth. And I'd be hopping down as soon as you can. See you guys. And don't forget, any people watching my videos, I've got some absolute beautiful videos coming soon. Pass the word. I don't have Facebook, so please add my Facebook. Ah, uh, sorry. I don't have Facebook, fellas, so please add my videos to uh, your Facebook uh, pages and pass the word around. Because I really appreciate, guys, I work my guts out doing all these videos. It's you know, I spend so much money doing all these videos and no one appreciates in my hometown. I've not once in my life, not once in that, since 2009 have I ever got a thank you or a well done for doing beautiful videos promoting Dumbuyong. I'm not really close to the show of Dumbuyong guys, just check out my videos. I, I won't even talk about them. Um, I probably upset farmers sometimes, I don't mean to, but you know, this is for the sake of their children, children's grandchildren, all the videos I make on environmental activism and everything else. So I'm not the most popular bloke in Dom Young, but I tell you what, you look at my videos and you'll see all the passion I've got for my hometown. I'm born and bred Dom Young, I'm just a townie. 45 years of age, I'm a battler, I'm ex-army, ex-navy, to 15 years in the defence forces. Had a horrible history of uh, depression, PTSD and everything, guys. Threw away my medication 12 months ago and I'm a new man. Given up alcohol nine years ago, haven't had a smoke for eight months. Don't even suffer from any form of depression or anxiety anymore, guys. So if you want to learn more about me, just check out my videos. But like I say, some of my videos are pretty controversial. I don't mean it. 
Well, I do mean it, I just, but that's just the way I am. That's why I call myself Wild Warrior Bill. See you, fellas. Bye.